Yeah, welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. And I have Debbie here, but she's also called Uche. And I feel like doing this because <laughs> our hair is bouncing. Like that, yeah. Like, yeah, we're on flick this morning. And speaking of being on flick, she's going to be teaching me something. Now, I've always wanted clearer, healthier skin. Mm -hmm. And apparently, she has one secret that she's been talking about when it comes to uh, healthy organic skincare products. From the comfort of my home, you see, I can make this? Yes. So what do you call this? Um, this is a turmeric mask. Turmeric mask. Turmeric. So if, if I Google it, it, it'll give me like information? Yes, a lot of it. Okay, all right. So, so you're going to break um, this down for me? Of course. Um, growing up, I used to see in Indian movies, okay. all these Indians, during their mm -hmm. weddings, they have this um, ritual they do. Their bride, yeah. the bride's mother. Okay. It will take turmeric, rub it on their skin, their okay. face, their okay. hair. Growing up, it was like, okay, maybe this is orange powder. Really? I didn't even know. <laughs> I didn't even know what it was, but apparently they were doing it so that on the morning of their wedding, okay, they have a glowing skin, a more brighter skin. Okay. So then, growing up, I started buying stuffs like, yeah, stuff to use on my skin to make it grow. But it turned out that most of them, they will tell you this is a natural product. This will make you glow. But at the end of the day, it gives you something. Sometimes it gives you acne. Sometimes it gives you unnecessary spots, Or pimples. just basically reactions, yes. right? Negative so I'm like, reactions. okay, I'm tired of wasting my money. So what did you do? Did you go <laughs> online to find out about well, this? Or yeah. you went somewhere to uh, learn? My younger sister, whenever she's making her black soap, okay. she normally would put this thing. Okay. And I'm like, ah, what's this one again? She's like, it's turmeric. Turmeric. Yes. So it looks a little like a curry. Spice, yes. But it's, it's under it's the curry family, I yeah, guess. Yeah, family, yes. It smells like, a, like curry and black powder, sort of. <laughs> uh, no, no, black pepper. I think it smells worse than that. No, it's, it's, um, but it's very fragrant. It smells like something I would put in my chicken. Yes, people use it to spice their um, yeah. food. Okay. So then, what's this, then? this is almond oil. Almond oil. Homemade almond oil. Okay, and what are these? What honey. Is, this is honey. This is honey. Pure. This is not how they pack honey <laughs> in my, my neighborhood. There's something <laughs> else that they put this in. You know Pure what? Organic honey. Okay. This is lemon and this is milk. What sort of milk? Liquid milk, evaporated the, uh, milk. Okay. So but I in, can't in use powdered of, milk? For no. This. Okay. In place right. of this, you can use yogurt. Oh, fantastic. Yes, because they have the same work All that right. it does to the skin so yeah we need to start mixing this up i believe okay. right yes. so what do i start with the turmeric powder how many spoons do i put in two spoonful two spoons yep. okay one and two. two all right then you put in the almond, almond oil. oil can i get a spoon please a spoon yeah. okay so is it one spoon one again spoon, yeah is almond oil readily available everywhere well Almond nuts are very, very scarce, okay. and then it's really difficult to make. The ones you see, they probably mix it with olive oil, okay. coconut oil, but this yeah. one is fresh from the north. Okay, so you nuts. actually source this here in yes, Nigeria? Yes, yes. Okay, I, made, I made that myself, though. Amazing. Then honey. Hmm. You need to change this <laughs> bottle, though. This is early morning. <laughs> early morning. You can't use this kind of bottle on breakfast TV. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> one All spoonful, right. honey. <laughs> Honey? Yes, okay. one spoonful honey. So there's nothing else I'm supposed to be doing right now with, no, with no, all no, this? Yet. Just not mixing yet. everything? Yes. Okay. Then this is lemon. Lemon or Normal, or if you have um, lemon, this is lemon. Okay. If you have lemon oil, okay. you can use the lemon oil. But I prefer to use this fruit because okay. it helps brighten the skin faster okay. than the oil. Because the oil, most times they mix it with other things. What not. Okay. So, so this portion I'm making now, how many times can I use this? Every day. I do it every day. So you mix this every day? Every day. Seriously, so it has to be fresh? <laughs> Very fresh. Like when you come outside, everybody's looking at you like, oh, it's okay. so beautiful. All right, so I can see the seeds from the lemon coming out. Are the seeds part of the mask too? No, no. All right, so I won't let that go in. Okay. I'm just checking. Maybe it's like some exfoliating seed or something. <laughs> I don't know, you know. And okay. this exfoliates the skin too. Babe, yeah, this, all these things you're saying, <laughs> I have to see this miracle. All right, let's go. Know, then milk. All right, how much milk are we talking now? Another spoon? Three. Three spoons? Yes. Okay, so the breakdown is two spoons of turmeric, yeah. one, one spoon, spoon of almond, almond oil, oil, one spoon honey, okay. one spoon of lemon juice, okay. then three spoonfuls of milk. milk. Okay, so that's the third spoon going in now. Boom. 
and then you stare. Okay, so you stare it till you form. This is where I'll hand, I'll hand this one <laughs> over to you. So, um, while you're stirring this up, you have to tell me. Why can't I just make plenty, keep it in the house, and just be using it every day? Yeah, I make a lot okay. and put it in the fridge. But most times, the milk makes it look oh, so it'll, somehow. It'll... So I always okay. prefer to make it fresh. Okay. And when it is fresh and you apply it on your skin, the effect is much nicer okay. than okay. when you apply the one you left in the fridge. So when you say apply, am I doing this before I wash my face? Yes. Before you shower. Before I shower. Because turmeric stains. <gasps> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I have um, rubber gloves at home. Okay. So when I want to apply them, you use rubber I, gloves. I'll first of all change to something that I know if it gets stained, I wouldn't mind. Okay. I already have a turmeric dress. Mm. So I just put it on. Then you apply this paste mm. to it, to your skin, but yes. only your face? No. Where else? Your neck region. Okay. All if you want to go for the, your back. Okay. If you want to be too extreme, your stomach. Your stomach. Okay. And then you just keep applying, applying it. Okay. And then you sit down in the house, press your phone, watch <laughs> TV. <laughs> okay. Do something All for right, so 30 minutes. Some people might be wondering, why do I need this mask? Like, okay. this seems like a lot of work. You know, isn't there... Well, if you want to achieve a very beautiful skin it would not seem like a lot of work when you start seeing the effects okay when i started it was very tiring but then mm. when mm. i step out and people are like ah, who do you use no makeup and everything your skin is great uh -uh. Like, <laughs> <laughs> okay all right then but I, I have to say you have amazing skin please let, let's just zoom in on her skin right now please i need people to understand what i'm seeing here <laughs> and how much beef i have for you right now because Thank i, I cover much. everything up you know for a reason you know, <laughs> but really, really, uh, you look amazing. So thank you. I, I apply this onto the skin. How long now do I the, leave it for? Thirty minutes. No, oh, mom, babe, you have, you have time. Like, no, the phone. kids are screaming. They want their breakfast. When they sit on your skin, they're quiet. Mommy, yeah. why do you look like this? <laughs> <laughs> All right. But then the honey, the honey helps mm. tighten the skin. Mm. The mm. the turmeric brightens the skin and evens your skin too. Okay. Like if you do it every day, you would notice. Mm the glowy effect, like you're, you're outside and then right. your face is bright. So I know that someone is rushing to the kitchen right now. <laughs> yes, please. They want to know these ingredients one more time. So I'm going to take it from the from the beginning. So two spoons, two tablespoons, by the yeah. way, of turmeric powder. Yes. It's readily available in supermarkets. Uh, almond oil, a uh, real almond oil. How pure many? almond oil. Pure. One spoon? One yes, spoon one of this? Spoon almond oil. Okay. So please ignore the bottle. Honey. <laughs> Pure honey. honey. Is this the local honey or the yes, jandered local one? honey. Local honey. Very okay. local. I like the jandered one. Sure. It looks cool, but I don't know. All right. So lemon juice as well, without the seeds, please. Um, Three spoonfuls. Evaporated milk. Okay, I won't. Um, then you mix everything together and you have the paste. So you said you advise using gloves to apply yes. this. Yes. Or whenever I'm very lazy and I don't want to use the gloves. All I right. apply it with the spoon. Okay, so I, I leave it on for 30 minutes. Then what do I do? You wash it off with lukewarm water. Lukewarm water. Yep. All right. And I should see results in how long? That day. That day? Are you kidding? The glowy effect is instant. Are you, are you kidding me right I now? I am very serious. The Please. <laughs> for those of you mixing it at home right now, make sure you tweet to us at TVC Connect. Show us your mixture. Show us, you know, you're applying yourself as well. And then show us the results. Okay. Please. Please, please, please. I, I'm so pleased you came to the studio today. Thank please you. let me see that skin one more time. One more time. Yeah, yeah. Please keep zooming <laughs> on her skin while we go to a commercial break. Don't worry. We'll be right back after this. <laughs> All right, welcome back. Now we're going straight to the kitchen to find out what uh, Miyonsi and MM have been up to. Thank you very much, Yummy. Okay, so Chef Miyonsi. Yep. What's so, happening? What's our jollof yes. rice? Jollof ja rice jambalaya. Jambalaya. Jam <laughs> jollof rice jambalaya. Well, um, as you can see, still cooking. We are the steaming process. Okay. What, what happened is we cooked it like we were cooking jollof rice. Um, these pre tomatoes in your vegetable oil, your onions, your garlic, then you add your chicken, if you want, you okay. could chill. But I added the chicken immediately and um, the rice with your chicken stock or broth. 
Okay. So where, while the rice is almost done, I added the shrimps and the sausages. So you can see the shrimps and the sausages here. And sweet corn. Mm, that looks yeah. really good. Then tomatoes just to make just it look... Just to garnish it. Yeah, just to make it look beautiful. Make it look beautiful. Yeah. So the beautiful thing is, it's a one pot kind of food, you know. You don't need to do this, oh, do this, do this. It's just one pot you could just bring together. So much in yes, two just one. one. Yes, just one pot. So, so. what's the jambal jambalaya... Yeah, thingy. like I said, jambalaya is like a Louisiana cuisine, you know. Louisiana. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, it is made using different proteins, like um, fish and uh, meats, okay. different meats, different chicken, you know, with rice. So we, I just extracted that principles and, uh, you know, we made jollof fries out of, out of it. So, so it's jollof fries. You can see the shrimps, the sausages, they are here. Yeah. Um, th there's chicken in also into it. So, this is like celebration of protein in jollof rice. Mm. It's quite a celebration. Yes. Celebration of jamalaya. <laughs> <laughs> the jamalaya celebration. Well, it smells amazing. Like yeah, it uh, smells really good. <laughs> and it tastes really nice. I had a taste earlier. <laughs> so it's, um, it's something you could have for, you could have for lunch. Yes. Not L breakfast. Breakfast. It's supposed to be a breakfast meal. Well, you can have, the, you know, when you have, when you cook your jambalaya, you add it for dinner, you're like, oh, honey, you know what? Let me have this for breakfast. <laughs> that, that was so good. That's <laughs> leftover from the night before, right? Yes. It looks really good. Yeah. And I you like can, the first, I like it when your jello fries is, you know, spicy, yeah. when it's, you know, and well yes, garnished. We, we, we added a um, lot of habanero to it to give it that spice effect, like, you know, Nigerians and spice. He actually means atarodo. <laughs> Nigerians and spice, we can't this. do without eating pepper, but this really looks good. I really want I to... I noticed you didn't put in black pepper, because you always I did, I did. Oh, I added did? black pepper oh, to I it. Come on. Uh, black pepper, B. <laughs> that is B. <laughs> but it looks good, and this is... We just need to steam it for a while, and it's ready to serve. All right. So whilst we are waiting for our jollof rice jambalaya, right? Yes, jambalaya. To cook up. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the name jambalaya to cook up. Wood, move over to Yomi and Titi. Over to you. Imagine mm -hmm. jambalaya. Jambalaya. And it's just jollof rice, you know, just a standard no, it's, Nigerian. It's jambalaya. That's what it is. <clears throat> All right, so we have this uh, <laughs> triumphant story for you about a woman who struggled with infertility for years and later gives birth to quadruplets. Take a look at this. This is Anambra State Onisha to be precise and something good, well a great news has happened here. Something unusual you may say and I'm the resident of the family that this good news happened to. Come, come, come. Let's see, let's see what has happened. It was all celebration at the residence of the Udbu. We just had a set of quadruplets as an addition to the family. The family who had been expecting a child for four years had friends and family members trooping into their home to celebrate the unusual arrival of the two boys and girls. They happy. Every my village, they happy for that uh, children God give me that that day. I don't greet God that. Plenty, 
from that day to really now. I beg everybody say make come join me, greet God. Uh, because of God, I know nobody go do me like this this year. She is a very, very strong woman to start with. If she doesn't tell you, you wouldn't realize or you wouldn't know. She goes around her businesses as though everything was okay, everything was complete. Without much medical aid and zero pressure from her in-laws, Vivian Udbu, the mother of the children, narrates her experience during the waiting years through the conception and delivery. The proud and happy father of the quadruplets also expressed his excitement on the arrival of his bundles of joy. I'm a woman being, and once you're married, what you expect next is um, to have a child, you know, be pregnant, then be pet. But I didn't see it, so I had to panic. It was a very tough time for me anyway, but um, I give God the glory. I have a very wonderful family. I have a wonderful in law and um, in fact, I didn't encounter any pressure from them. And I still give the credit to my mother-in-law, who always encouraged me to keep my faith that one day it will be over. When I heard the news, probably the news was not come as a surprise. Because the God that I'm serving always gives me whatever things I need in abundance. So the gift of the children comes in abundance. And uh, Up. to say the fact. Up. Yeah. If there is any other word to qualify happiness, that is the word that we use. But I'm still searching for that word when you talk of happiness. What else will I use to say? In fact, at times I'll look at them, I'll like, I, is this mine? So this is mine, as in children, not that, not my child. But I'm still dreaming at times. Being a staunch Catholic, the Reverend Father, whom she confides in, was also happy to receive the Wake Up Nigeria correspondent in the parish, as he revealed all their secret conversations and his gladness towards the birth of the quadruplets. It is not easy uh, getting married and uh, normally in the Igbo setting. In Nigeria, Africa in general, you are expected to at least have a child in the first or second year. But after that first year, second year, nothing came. So that, those challenges, those moments of waiting and crying, we continue to pray and we trusted God. And God definitely answered them. Although the children are four in number, names given to them by elated relatives and friends of a family have undoubtedly outnumbered them. She and Chimamanda. They are and Chimamanda. Chimakonam, the meaning in Igbo is that God should not be scarce with me. Then Chinon, so God is always close to me. My God will never fail. I thank God. Chidalo. I know not say you go favor me this way. I know not say you go favor me this way. Wow, amazing, amazing. Four kids at the same time. It's if you've never had to wait for a long time and go through that challenge of, of um, infertility being, and yeah, then being eventually childless for four years, you might not know, you know what some people mm. go through. And then, of course, you need to consider yourself blessed that you even have one. Talk less of having four. You know, I, I have four kids. Yeah. Huh. So, um, oh my goodness. I know what the, the challenges we had with, um, well, the blessing of the burden mm -hmm. of having multiple births is just. It's an energy, it's, it's a feeling that you cannot compare with anything else. And I hope uh, that they're getting all the help that they need. And yes. it was a great report from DBC there, mm. uh, who also happens to be celebrating her birthday today. Happy birthday, DBC! You know we love you. I think it's about time for us to go and see what Beyonce has cooked for uh, what, uh, DBC's birthday. Yeah, birthday jollof brunch. rice. Because that's what she requested, <laughs> apparently. It's not jollof, it's jambalaya, <laughs> so right? All right, so let's check it out. <laughs> Beyonce. Check out what the guys are you know, talking about um, 
Debisi and her birthday. Mm -hmm. I really don't understand why jollof rice is synonymous with party rice. Why? I mean, <laughs> for, for every party. I mean, there's other happy birthday for her. food recipes you could why yeah. jollof rice all the time. Oh well, I, I'm for not birthdays. a big yeah, fan for, of for rice. parties generally. I'm not a big this fan. This is Nigeria. We made jollof yeah. rice. I do. Beans. I mean, there's beans. Yeah. I do beans. I yeah. Do beans. Yeah. No, but we're the owners of jollof rice. Yeah. Well, there's always going to be doing us the honors of, of sampling. Minerals. We shouldn't really be sampling this without the birthday girl, but you know, we, we just want to make sure that as we're tasting it, she She's gets disappeared. She's yes. just suddenly, I don't know where we'll she went. We'll help her taste it on her behalf, you know. Okay, so... All right, so Mianta is going to tell us what happened. Yeah. yeah. Uh, magic happened. <laughs> 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 yeah, right. so um, it's vegetable oil, tomatoes, um, um, garlic, onions. Mm. We cooked that and we had chicken breast into it. Okay. Um, you had your rice. You, you, forgot, you forgot the tomato puree. Yeah, the tomato puree. Mm. So um, you add that into your pot. Uh, you cook, you add your rice. You, if you need to add a bit of water or chicken stock, just yeah. top it up. Make sure your rice is cooked. Okay. Yeah. So in the process of cooking your rice, um, gradually add your shrimps. If your rice is almost done, add the shrimps to it and add the um, sausages to it. Then you can see the yellow stuff there. Yeah, yeah. that's the corn. Uh, is, is a uh, sweet corn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah. and yeah, this is your jollof rice jambalaya. It actually jollof does smell amazing, jambalaya. but uh, we have to rush off now. Yeah. And uh, it's time for us to go, so we have to say a big thank you to our friends at Homely NG for uh, giving us the kitchen accessories, and of course to all our guests on the show. And of course to Payport Food Stores for the groceries <laughs> as well. A big shout out to Fola's Place for this amazing hair. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Fola's Place actually spent uh, like a minute or two on my hair as well. Ah, <laughs> a minute or two? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> a big shout out to uh, LJ for the accessories as well. You honestly have to make sure you tune in again tomorrow morning we'll be back on your screens to help you wake up in style bye bye see you tomorrow bye. <laughs>